Hello, we are Geeks Assembled, and today me and Susan will be discussing a 1953 British comedy movie, um, ensemble cast, um, with some familiar faces in the world of, um, from the world of sci-fi, shall we say. Yeah. Yeah, well, as you can see, two familiar faces there behind Susan. Uh, <laughs> this was even before the multi doctor story began in the in the TV show. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, have, you have Mr. Pertwee there and Mr. Hartnell there. We we are talking. Will any gentleman starring the main star of this, this movie is George Cole. Um, a lot of uh, British people will know George Cole from the cult TV series Minder. Yep. Um, so it's just uh, this. This film is um, about how he. It's well, it's a farce, is it? It's a, it's because it's, it's based. It is based on a play, and you can tell it's based on a play. The way it, it, it runs, um, it, he gets hypnotized. And he has a lot of uh, problems afterwards, sure, shall we say. say that. <laughs> so um, we'll go over to Susan for her opening thoughts on Will Any Gentleman? All right. Well, um, yeah, George Cole is uh, is pretty feckless when, he, when you first see him on, on screen. He seems a bit like, huh, huh. And, <laughs> You know he's got um, he's got a lot of issues with his with his wife and with his mother-in-law, and those come to come to the floor um, later on. There's a lot of stuff that's going on with us, and um, you know he's a uh, uh, he goes to a uh, uh, goes to try and fix some problems at work and he ends up going to the theater and when he goes to the theater uh, he's hypnotized <laughs> and from there all sorts of hijinks um yeah anyway he, it was also about a bunch of money that that was owed to the bank mm -hmm both by people that he was dealing with as a bank clerk or um, and or the this large sum of money that he found in a safe in the bank. Wait, he just swapped them for his sandwiches. He just swapped them for his sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically like a, <clears throat> a little thievery. It is very, it, it is very much a play feels very mm -hmm. much like a play. You're right. It's got all that uh, that subtle dialogue and all the, the subtext of everything. And, and it's also as, also as well, the people are in and out of the scene constantly. Yeah. Which, which they do on stage, you know. Yeah. And you just, you just get the, a theater feel for it, a play feel. Yeah, you do. That's right. And... Um, yeah, so Cole's wife is uh, played by by Veronica Hurst, and um, and Cole's brother is played by John Pertwee, and that's the fun, That's where the fun begins. The cat. <laughs> yeah, he plays a cat. He totally does. He plays a, he plays a, a ne'er do well. Yeah, which is hilarious because Pertwee himself was those was quite serious as, as an actor and um <clears throat> but as a as a young man was a kind of a ne'er-do-well to his parents even so yeah per we definitely like hammed it up for this one <laughs> and uh and uh there's a uh a, a servant uh you know, a maid or whatever. Yeah. Played by um, Heather Thatcher. I don't think she's related to Margaret Thatcher. Anyway, it's it's super fun, and um, I've 
never seen it before. And I should have seen it before because, you know, as a William Hartnell fan, it's really, it's really absolutely essential watching because in this, he, he though he plays a, though he plays a, a police constable or a detective, he actually um, is quite, uh, quite engaging and endearing too. It must have been this this that really got him the role with Doctor Who. This and the and the one um, the one with Peter Sellers. I just think I just think so highly of this. It's so fun, and it is really fun. It's got like the the there's a lot of like tension, sexual tension in this in this thing, which you don't usually see. You don't really equate that with British movies, really. But this one's sparkly with it, and um, because of the way that this this hypnotist, uh, who is the hypnotist? Alan Bedell. Alan Bedell, and he played the great Mendoza. And he was great. And, I mean, he, he really had a, a super showman attitude, and, and he, he just kind of waltzed into the back door of people's houses, <clears throat> which was interesting. You know, he, uh, he had a, like a side hustle where he'd hypnotize you and then he'd, he'd send you home kind of okay, but with like it's a bunch of post-hypnotic suggestion. And then he would um, <clears throat> go into your home later on through the back door and try and fix your, your fix you by, by extorting more money, extorting cash. So that was quite a hustle. That was quite a side hustle. I, I thought that was really funny and um yeah genuinely i was i was amazed by that anyway <clears throat> uh and the the pacing was great and, and it was so short i mean he just kind of wanted more you know it was only an hour and like what was it an hour and 25 minutes an hour and 30 minutes it was just so short yeah yeah and it was Quite over a... and you're like is that all? What? <laughs> more, more, more. But you know, it's really hard to find this one. Actually, this one is not like carried on on the U.S. Uh, Amazon Prime. <clears throat> it's not carried on U.S. Netflix. It's just it's it's truly a, a challenge for an American to to locate this. That's why I don't have the DVD because it. You know, there's just it was, it was not um anyway it was a challenge so um i ended up watching it for the first time and i think i'm going to try and find a way to get it brought to me anyway um back over to you thank you susan what's your um, opening thoughts mate well i've never seen this before i uh, i've always known about it but i've never seen it um it was good to see the the cast because you've got several famous Carry On stars in this. <laughs> I know, right? You, you, you've got <laughs> uh, Sid James as Mr. Hobson. Um, as you said, Joan Sims as Beryl the Maid, which um, yes. <laughs> also, you've got. I mean, of course, uh, William Hartnell appeared in the very first Carry On movie. Um, John Petrie appeared in several. Um, and then you've got the theatre stage manage, manager played by Peter Butterworth. It, plenty of carry-on movies, but there's let's see, some Doctor Who connections here. Yeah, he's like he's like the uh, the, ma the meddling monk. Who was the meddling monk, yeah. You say you had Joan Sims, as, who played Katri uh, Katrina, Queen Katrina in Trial of a Time Lord. Yep, yep. <laughs> you say so you had William Hartnell, you've had John Petrie. <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah. As I said, I was quite surprised how they paced it like a play, um, and it was in and out, in and out characters. 
Um, and you see, John Petrie played really well opposite William Hartnell. And William Hartnell wasn't in it much. No, no, he just played the the detective, the brown shoe, or, or the, the, you know, the normal. Yeah, he was only in like uh, two scenes, separate scenes. Actually, three scenes uh, near the end as well. You know, he came yeah. to the house, he was at the theatre, and then he was at the end of the movie. Um, but some of those scenes where he was against Petri in the theatre was so funny, where he was chasing around the theatre. Yeah. Especially where he uh, was going through the row of seats and then people started applauding. Both of them stood there and started clapping like that. And then they started running again. <laughs> yeah, and they were standing right in front of people. Yeah. <laughs> George Cole did a great performance as a scatty, uh, hip, you know, being hypnotized. A bit of a womanizer when he's hypnotized. Bit of a womanizer. Oh, yeah. Ask, ask Beryl, who I've seen pinching her. <laughs> uh -huh. And she seemed to enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, she was really thrilled by it. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it, yeah, it was quite a fun comedy. Um, for someone I've never seen before, and I agree, it, it did pass so quick. So yeah, it was over too soon, man. Yeah, it was. It really was. So, any favorite moments for you? I'm, no, I'm the gonna, the butt pinching was great, and like like that, like no me too. But um, <laughs> the butt pinching was great. The other thing that was great was the was when they uh, his wife changes the the whiskey for tea and quinine. And uh, I don't know if that ever got fixed back anyway, like there was that and then there was, <coughs> um, there was the, the return to normal scene with where the great Mendoza so, showed up to the back door of the, the, the the beautiful home of theirs and um you know restores them and then his girl steals the the 300 quid that was sitting in the and and it, you know her mother mrs uh george cole's mother-in-law in this thing um uh mrs not mrs sterling because She's the mother-in-law, so I can't remember what her name is. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Um, it just, it was so funny, like the, the when the, that racket, figuring out that they had a racket going, figuring out that they were, um, that, that, that they would steal money out of people's purses. Uh, you know, just show people, just, you know, can't trust show people, that, that old trope. <clears throat> and then there was the the funny scene with um where they're trying to figure out who why uh the detective is there and the detective is actually there to answer about some um some else and like this uh the the, the two brothers are are there and you know, he's he's about oh, it was about the other woman and stuff like that. So that was that was really that was really funny that um, that the the detective was was checking out the Sterling brothers. Anyway, that that was really funny and um, and I really laughed out loud when uh, when they were in the theater. Like the theater chasing was great, and yeah, and I laughed out loud when uh, when the bank manager came and he was he was hypnotized and, and gave the, the other people in the bank a raise and everything. It was like, yeah, it was so funny. Anyway, um, so. Yeah, back over to you, Lee. What, what about you? Your favorite stuff? Well, I like I like the way uh, Petrie's character kept kept writing checks uh, for money he owes people, 
So to, you know, but he, he doesn't have a bank account. He doesn't have an account at this bank. <laughs> and, it, and it was always his brother who was um, bailing him out with the money. Where you know, and you could see that you could see you understand why his wife didn't get on with his brother. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, but as you say, it was so caddish. And, oh, that that uh, bank scene was great, though. Yeah. I mean, especially when George Cole was hypnotized at the bank as well. He was just giving money away. Yeah. <laughs> he, he did a double or nothing on the, the, the flip of a coin. And then there was, yeah, go on. Sorry. So, and also as well, you had the, um, the crazy doctor. <coughs> oh my God, the doctor was. Dr. Smith plays by um, James Hater, I think his name was. He was a well-known um, film star in the in the early days of the black and white movies, and went into television. Um, most most famous for um, on TV and Are You Being Served? Um, playing um, one of the characters, one of the people in the in the shop. I can't remember his name. The character he played in, <laughs> but um, he was also as well. He's, he was. The famous in this country, in the UK, is the on a TV advert for for, for cakes. Mr. Kipling. He was the voice of Mr. Kipling. Not oh, funny, uh, really. Yeah, Mr. K you know, um, but yeah, a great a great actor. Um, yeah, I fully enjoyed this. Um, as you say, it's very hard to get hold of. I, I don't know why. So. I would recommend anybody who are in, who's into British comedies, the you know the early British comedies, to give this a chance. Oh, no, he is, played Mister Tebbs. That was it. That's the and character. Are you being served? Yeah. Fun. Oh, fun. So, anything else we'd like to say about this? Um. Yeah. The. <clears throat> The fact that it has John Pertwee um, and William Hartnell makes it really an absolutely must see for Whovians. I, you know, it, 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 it really, and the, the, the scenes that they had to, they had together were truly magical. They were, it was, it was super fun and they really knew how to play off each other. And so I, it's too bad that they never got like a face-to-face <clears throat> real intimate uh doctor who multi-doctor story that would have been totally hilarious totally great <clears throat> but by that point you know our dear william hartnell wasn't doing too good well, yeah, very oh, well. Ar arterial sclerosis really <clears throat> it was just devastating to him and that's sad but um I'm really glad that that we got this because I mean it, it really is super fun and super funny and and just well timed really far out uh, you know lots of sexual tension that was the great thing uh, that was also the great thing was that it, it was uh, super flirty everybody was ended up super flirty except for except for Mrs Mrs uh, uh, what's her name. Mrs. Sterling, I suppose. Yeah. And then her mother, of course. So that, you know, fun. Florence and her mother. Anyway, yeah, great stuff. Anyway, so um, yeah, th that's really all, all I wanted to say about this thing. Cool. Cool. So in that case, we'll, we'll go to final say and score then. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll give this a 9.75 out of 10. I mean, the only thing that it's, it's just too short and that's too bad because it's so good. It's so, it's so fun and it's such a great, uh, and there just wasn't enough William Hartnell in it, but like, like you said, like, but anyway, that that you know they could rewrite it and, 
and lengthen it. They could have, but they didn't. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. But anyway, yeah, that's 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 mine. Nine point seven five. I'll just give it a ten. Whatever. Ten. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna uh, give it nine little pinches on the bottom out of ten. Um. It was to say it was just too short. Um, some characters for me could have been in it more, as you say, the William Hartnell. Uh, but it is. It, I love the way it just came across as a play on on the screen. Yeah, me so, too. That was great. So, so that's our little review of Will Any Gentleman. Um, there you say in the background. So, I'd like to thank Susan for joining me talking about this little movie um you guys out there if you haven't seen it why not check it out it's uh i know i know it's on amazon in the uk yeah um, but that's only the place i could find it um so all, so all of our uk people have to should should check it out hmm. definitely um and if you you know if you leave a comment below let us know what you thought of it once you've seen it uh, leave a comment below if you want to join our little group. Um, yeah. All we ask is that you be 18 plus, have a PC, laptop, um, tablet, uh, phone with camera, and microphone and everything like that, and you, we'll, we'll have you here. Um, also, once you subscribe to our YouTube channel, please press the bell notification button and you will get a little notification every time we put a video up. So I think now that's us done. I'm going off to the theatre to watch um, Angel get hypnotised. So, oh, Angel was a quite a bit of a looker, wasn't she? Yes. <laughs> and, and, and and she left lipstick when she kissed. So. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, that's a big. That's a big to do. Mm. So uh, until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.